The Empire State of Mind. This is no more than a crown jewel race, the third on the season. Joy Paints is the points leader. But can she go three for three? We're about to find out. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Watkins Glen International up here in upstate New York, beautiful upstate New York in the Finger Lakes region of the Glen. Alongside me is going to be Zach 103 TV for his Zach 103 TV 400 at the Glen, the crown jewel event number three on 2023 CCS season. Guthner is going to be on the poll, Zach, but we have a lot of great storylines. The points gap is closing, and we saw some interesting in practice. Let's do a little recap, though, before we get to the Glen about the last race and update us about what happened with Joy Paints in the points lead and people coming in and closing in. Yeah, so basically last race, Charlotte, the Middle Road Energy 200, I think. Um, it was a very interesting race. We had a lot of lead changes, but in the end, Barney Thurston the third, who was second in points coming into that race, also came in second in points out of the race, but with a much smaller points gap between him and the points leader, is literally now down to two. He's starting in 30th today which is not going to be able to seal the deal if this race finishes where they're currently positioned, where Joy Paints is currently starting third. We've seen her do well at Crown Jewels. And then she DNF'd last race as well, so that definitely put a dent in her points lead, but I think she's still trucking. We'll have to see if she can get that consistency um, up and going and here at the, I guess you would say, challenging Watkins Glen. Barney Thrasher, second in points, is that for mentioned man who has closed the gap and what a season you have Zach three wins four top fives four top tens I mean that's 33% of the time if you ask me 12 out of four so four out of 12 that's 33.3 your thoughts on his season I would definitely say the most consistent guy in terms of just racking it up and being there yeah he's won at the Carsland Speedway race which was the first time we ran that which is kind of big he also won at North Wilkesboro and then he won just last week he's been consistent and really just when it counts now he didn't uh, is starting to see that i think st road courses are his weakness right now we don't have a chunk load of those so um maybe he can get something going here or maybe this is joy paint there's a lot of questions we have to answer still really early in the season but i just i think the 59 maybe he just hit his marks make sure he finishes the race because that's kind of been a challenge here we've seen as of late so we'll have to see how that goes but other than that, I think he's just, you know, though it looks bad, I think really just keeping track position and keeping clean is the goal of the race for him today. Yeah, that's, that's the thing here, Zach. You just mentioned points. Well, today it's all about the crown jewel event. There's no point. This is a season within a season. What do we mean by that? Because we're early enough in the year race 13 in, it's not about points today. It's all about one thing, getting a crown jewel. Paints is looking to go three for three on that, which would be insane. Considering her first two wins of the season, she's been kind of quiet, kind of used that consistency trek. But big race, Hunter Paints. We'll see if she can get a third one. I think the biggest thing, Zach, we, we saw in practice, we saw some wrecks. We saw a lot of drafting distance coming into play. And I think the bigger thing, though, a lot of people at the back that were good in practice, like XO, for example, they're going to have to make their way to the front. Talk to me a little bit about how track position is going to play a role at the Glen. Yeah, I think track position is going to be key. And I think one thing we, one very important thing we haven't quite mentioned yet pit stops this race pit strategy is also going to be something very important now there may be two to three pit stops maybe one i'm not sure i have it at 2x um but this is going to be the entirely same distance and fuel run as last year's race and these guys are going to have to balance track position and pit strategy and put yourself and keep yourself in a decent enough position to where you can come out on top in either scenario for whatever you're building your that's a, that's a big point right there, I think, is the pit stops, too. Another thing to point out, uh, we have a 2X package here, which usually means we should see a pit stop. The fuel window, what do you think, Zach? Maybe after 16 laps, or are we going to go somewhere around 14 to 18? We don't really have a clear we, idea on pit window. We really don't. I think last year I've seen him pit as early as lap 13 and as late as lap 18, I think. But I'm not 100% okay. sure. We'll to see. Could be a splash and dash to the end. Another thing I think to mention with the splash and dash usually comes as pit road exit. Uh, we, we don't have that shot, but when we see it, when they come to turn one, that could be a merge issue. We'll have to find out when we get to the first round of pit stops. That's at the pit lane exit. But before that, let's get to the command. Drivers, start your engines! Engines have been fired. 
This is the Zach 103 TV 400. This is Watkins Glen International. Many say this is the super speedway of road courses for how fast these sections right here you see in turn six. And then you've got the slow sections down the bus stop chicane and through the S's is all about being methodical and knowing when to hit the throttle pedal to lose less grip on the contact patch. Gunther is about to lead us to green flag. The pace car is going to make that hard right turn. This is Watkins Glen, the Empire State, whatever you think. I love New York. You can name it all you want. But here we go, baby. Pace cars off. Fans are on their feet. This is going to be a big one. It's the Crown Jewel event, number three on the 2023 CCS season, and we're green. What a start there for Gunther as he's going to one as everyone attacks the brakes. Paints looks to try and make it three. Gaming goes wide. It's going to be Paints and Gunther, 76-77, breaking away. As they, not get the start there. as they funnel up here, Zach, we got to watch this. We saw this in practice right here. You got to start funneling away to, to get single file. You cannot go two, three wide. That's going to cause disaster. Yeah, looks like Burt Crown Jr. may try to go in here too. And that, again, cost that 20 car a lot of time. The five moves been three wide. Got to watch right here as they enter the carousel. Got to make sure you stay clean, not get two in the rear. Bumpers there, looks pretty clean to me. Into the first left hand turn, number six. This little short shoot into the seven. Down the front stretch we go. That's a lap around Watkins Glen. Guthrie leads, but Pace with a big run here, looking to full send to one of their brakes. Pace looking to full send right here. She's on the brakes. Look at Gaming trying to make it up. Oh, what a send by Gaming! He's going to go three wide to the S's. Will that work? No, they sorted out. Sorted out the 82 is not done. 82 is not done. What a send by. I've never seen something like that where just the brake package was sticking. <laughs> great work there by Gaiman. But wow. great work by Paints to fight back as well. She might get a run on Gunther. Here comes Isaac peeking out low. we got great action here at the Glen. The draft is playing a massive role. Did Sorry, Zach. You're, you're, you're good. <laughs> yeah, I know. This action's intense here at the Glen. This is a crown jewel, right, buddy? There's no such thing as points today. It's all about getting a crown jewel. Gunther slips up a little high. It's going to get paints a great run through the carousel in the six. You see they go into six now. They're going to start to funnel out on board here with Gunther in the rear to see where he's going. Paints has definitely got a little bit better on entry. Gunther rolls the center better. He gets a great exit. We have to watch in the seven. They sometimes hit the wall. We got a battle for third again. Is that no? Gunther's actually going to. Is he going to try to send it again on the brakes? Yeah, it looks like Bobby Isaac is going to try to go high here, but that does not work as the nine. Great move by Gunther, though. About like Gunther Gaming. Paints had to make a mistake there, had a lift. That's a great move. I didn't even notice that. 82 did get around for seconds. Now we got Dodgers one, two, three, and a whole bunch of them right now where Paints. Well, then, yeah. Crown Jr. Yeah, we got to watch Gaming, man. I think his lap times are just about staying in the draft, not cooking these ties. He, he's definitely working harder compared to, let's say, Gunther. But Gunther's in the grass there as they all hit the grass. Isaac hit the grass too much. He's going to lose a little time on exit. Paints, Gunther, and Gaming go a little higher, though. We're going to get a better exit. They do. Paints with a really good exit, actually. Could make a move into six. Bobby Isaac going to make a move. Oh, nope, nope. Plays it cool there. We'll prove a fade. Yeah, we'll prove a fade there. Keep a distance from these guys. He suddenly picks up. Isaac peeks up. Paints peeking lower though. Oh. Great crossover on Paints. It's going to put Gaming to the outside. He's going to hit the rumble strips. Yes, he does. That's going to be Paints to second. Here comes NH. NH Fireball looking to get third. Gaming gets slid up high. Now Paints stays tucked in line. Ooh, what a move there by Gaming to cut off Fireball. Look like the Fuego Storm out there right now. Well, I know it's a hand. 76 is just able to stay ahead right now. Yeah, the draft is playing quick. We might have a caution. Hold up. That's gonna be a caution. We got so we got a, we must have a wreck because the field is separated. Forty two is out of this race. It's Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. So oh yeah. Let's go and see what happened to forty two. We'll see. Remember, there's no yellows unless it's massive. Let's see. 
Definitely some pace separation, though. Oh, he, he's been out a couple laps. Or no? No, it was that lap. Okay, let's see. So, he was the winner. Oh. Oh, that's going to be a yellow. That is going to be a yellow. Yeah, you hit the pit wall, it's an automatic yellow. What in the world happened here? Oh, oh no. Oh, well, that's got to hurt. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go back to lock. Cool, like on 20, I believe, yep. Alright, we're gonna race to the yellow. Hopefully they keep it clean. It's the 42 is the only car in the race. Fireball up the third, great move there over gaming. Gunther's gonna go a little bit higher. We're not gonna say too much now, because now the strategy could come into play. Is we got someone blowing up! That's might be the 20. It's 51, uh, Yoiko. Oh boy, Yoiko, that's gonna be uh, another, like I said, the yellow Zab, but that's gonna be careful right here! Oh! Keep it clean, keep it clean. Oh, we got, what, 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 what's, oh, 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 what is he doing? This is a bad time. Oh, 20's in the wall. Ah, that might be the damage, that coolant damage might be starting to affect 20. It's gaming. Good lord, that's. I may have to. I don't, we weren't even expecting that. that so, that's as have, close as you get right there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's. It's over the. Uh, so let's go and see what happened to that. Caution's out. Great action. Okay. I haven't seen a fast and furious start since we saw a super speedway race, buddy, for sure. That was some crazy lag spike. Still lagging. It's gonna let this yellow filter out. And it usually fixes it or helps it a little bit. Just not touch anything. Hopefully that keeps it good. <laughs> yeah, that's a major lag spike. Okay, there's where that happened again. I'm lagging a little bit. Okay. Just looking for a replay here. Right, just cleaning up, cleaning up. All right. All right I think it's good. Now you go qualify at the back. Must have been an issue with an accident or just. Lost the motor. Let's see. Well, Brown Motorsports is an organization that's very inconsistent. Saying that, the 59 of Bernie Thrush is the points leader, but I don't know. It looks like they oh, second in points. Oh, that's an accident. Yep. Oh, it's oh, it's a big one. Oh, that's a pile up. Oh, wow. That's, oh, no. It, it's, it's up in here. Was that? I, I think this is like right as we put out the yellow. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, no. This this is what I was talking about the separation. It's right here. Can't go two on the S's. Yep. Dripsy goes in there full send. R does a good job avoiding it. Right Boom! Jordan check. Yeah, it's a caution. That's just That's from Jordan. Oh, oh, oh! What? 51, oh, we got to say they're coming to the pits here. Pit oh, is it a mixed bag? It is a mixed bag. Ah, uh, you know what? This could get them into the one-stop window. Let's see where. Let's see if Paints and Gunther and them. Gaming freak, I think someone. Well, the Gunther pitted. I don't know who stayed out. I think Paints stayed out. Yeah, Paints is the one who stayed out. Now, if I'm Paints here, the only difference is track position. You got to start saving fuel. It usually means two laps of yellow is an extra lap of green. If the fuel window is 13 to 18, based off of last year. Paints could extend it up to 19, 20, as we looks like uh, well, we're going to go green the next lap because everyone's pitting. And also, you know, thinking about Marty Thresher III, he got involved in that. Um, he is scored out of the race, but he's a lap down and quite possibly in contention of being scored out of the race. But Joy Paints has turned her situation around quite nicely uh, compared to last week. Again, those cars back there, you see most, most of the field pitted. That's why Marty Thresher III, you can see him up here. A lot of the field pit is a 20, looks like the O, oh, 59, and the have issues or something. Looks like they're stacking up here, yeah. Stacking up, all right. Getting their pace together. Oh, the 59 is going to be sent to the back. That's why we're going green this time up. He's going to the back, so that's why. Lap car. 
All right, so a little bit of an update on out of the race. It is your know, gift Jordan, then 51 had that issue, which is the initial cause of caution. And at the moment of caution, we had Daniel Falls Jr. Uh, get involved in a record with Cazzo. The senior box two did not need that. And depending on how scoring updates, um, I think everyone else should be good. Cars damage. This is a big track. We'll have to see how that goes. Yeah, yeah 2.45 mile super speedway here. This should be interesting. Joy Paints is going to have to be careful with from gaming. We saw gaming on that initial start that with the brakes. Yeah, gaming, he pitted, so he's in the back of the field now. Oh, that's right, not gaming. I'm, yeah. I meant um, Fireball who's behind. 48. No, not Fireball. Who's behind? Uh, there's Rich Crown Jr. and then there's Bobby Isaac, Reggie Fogel. Yeah, Crown. It seems like the guy in third place is going to be the key because he can judge the breaking point compared off the leader. Let's see what we get here. This is going to be our first restart of the day, excluding the initial start. Always got to remember about the initial start rule, too. Don't want to jump ahead. I mean, we've seen that in the past. Fire, if I'm fireball, I wouldn't ruin this because he needs points. Bad. Here we go. Green flag's about to come in. They're in the restart zone. We're green. Fireball. Oh, no. He got a car length, but he did get ahead. Oh, we got a wreck! What? Where? Oh, 48. That's gonna be a car. Oh, we got. Oh, we got more spinners. What? What Let's see, Did he save that? No way. No way. Sean R goes three wide and he saves it. Of course, Sean R of all people. Sean R's full sends it into one and just backs off and. 97 may be at fault there, but. Oh, he, he straightened him out. That's clear. Oh, what a save and what an avoidance by the field. That is, that's great. All right, we're going to keep it green then. That's clean. Good thing I slowed down for us. The 9 of NASCAR Fireball 48 is leading. And the question will remain is, is Fireball 48 paints? And uh, Crown Jr., for example, did they save enough under that caution? Is Fireball going to hit the wall? Just tapping it a little bit. <laughs> Just oh, little. man. That's more than that's more than a tap, buddy. I think you should. Oh, someone. Someone is pit road. Is that the seventy-six? That's the seventy-six. Gunther with the prom. Did he not get off pit road? He may have been penalized. He might be out. Oh, this is. Okay. That's a wreck. <laughs> that's right. I knew there was someone spinning. I wasn't. But I wasn't was, blind. Was later than what you were saying. Man, that's weird. Oh strategy, no. Got into. 60 of Cody Forge. Oh, right into Shangle, Salamander. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? They, that's only a one-car incident, believe it or not. That's that's going to keep them green. That's They sorted it out. Unfortunately, that's going to cause the 76 to not finish. So, however, he did get points low. He did get some points. 60 is Might be out of They're getting towed, probably. That's why they haven't been. Yeah, we're going to keep it green. That, that was an accident that just sorted itself. Fireball a little bit wide. Paints going to have a huge run right here. Here's the send in the one. We also got to keep in mind, you know, maybe some of these guys may be pitting on the green, too. So yeah. Gunther was the top on that strategy. That's going to cost him a lot. I, I think at this point it's going to be about who was behind that was on that strategy. 82. Uh, might have got some damage on that restart here. Not running well at all now. Gaming Free was another one. Let's see what happened to Gaming Free. Or is it just damage on the restart? I think it's damage on the restart. Might have had a bad restart. He looks like he got some front end damage, but. And those restarts, he gets some wild stuff. It's crazy. Okay. That's the crew chief. That's the crew chief coming in and paints leads their points. That's the crew chief saying, hey man, we're taking a risk, but when you get back in there running with the chickens, your head's about to be cut off. As Joy paints leads. It's Looking just, like I said, what's that? Almost everyone. Oh, 20. Huge slide there. Oh, he's pitting. He's pitting. This is crazy. Let's, let's see if he makes it a clean pick load. Right, like pick road ends. Yeah. So, like right. You're not going to make it on one stop from there, but. He's going to try something. Let me cook. We're going to let him cook here. 
Interesting field strategy. Right now, as you see, uh, battle for third. That's the 03 and Crown. 03 is. No, looks like we're clean there. Uh, that was Yoiko and them. Uh, There's a little sidetrack. Here comes Fireball. Looking to show he's got balls of flames right here. Joy Paints looking to send it in though. Paints sends it in, forces Fireball up the hill through the Rumble Strip. Paints gets run off. What a move. Okay. Veteran move. Uh, oh, but. Paints runs a little wide. Fireball gets a great run. Look at Crown. Oh, we get NH almost hitting the wall back there. Paints leads at the line. Can Crown push Fireball Ooh. to the lead? Crossover from Nelson for third. What action here? Crown's going to hit the strip. So does Paint. That's going to give Fireball Green the lead. Back, 17. No! Go back to that. Go back to that. No! Quattro Pen! Oh, oh they're going to they're gonna save it. Are you kidding me, son? No way. Oh my goodness, what action here at the Glen doesn't disappoint. They know this is a crown jewel race. What is points? It's all about a W. Yep. I think Joy Pants is kind of ignoring that. She wants that point. She wants to lead this race. Like you said, she's trying to go three, three for three on the crown jewels. Yeah, That's big race hunter Paints. Paints. 20 car. He had that pit strategy. He's about to go a lap, or might go a lap down here. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say earlier, too. I think this race, you need friends. You actually need to ha be in the draft. This is like a super speedway race, which is rare. See Frogelman there, the back end of this group. Oh, I think Fireball made a mistake. Paints on her. Oh, no. Look at that. Closes on the brakes. Let's go on. Let's go on for a Fireball in this rear chase camp. I like this. Oh, never mind. Forget that. <laughs> Nelson for second. Nelson, you talking about? He's been under the radar, really in points. This is really the first time he's been up front, to say. I guess you could say. Wow, Paints forced them low enough, though. Great run. I think gaming is at, it is gaming. Right? Gaming is actually starting to get us help help these leaders. What's that? He may be losing time though. No, he's, but he's helping these leaders save fuel. I think because it's similar to Super Speed, you don't want to be the leader, but when you got someone ahead, you can save a little fuel. And just a little, oh, we got some more people. That's gaming. Yeah, the gaming freak, a third teammate to the 20. Again, he had a bad restart. He's a little bit off pace. He may have pitted, too. You know, I'm not sure on that. Looks like their joysticks have been fumbled today. But let's see what happens now as Joy Paints looks for under. Oh, gaming goes a little high. Fireball's going to go a little high, too. Here comes Paints again. Watch this run. Called it. Now the question is, gaming is going to be there. Is that going to check up the nine? Oh, it does. Massively. He's going to hit the rubble strips. That's going to be paint for the lead. Paint's also slowed up just a little bit. Oh, boy, but it's 20 and across. we got to stay on that. Ooh. Oh! 20 is going to hold up the nine again? No, holds up the paint. Paint's holds up the nine. It. Paint's ain't having it. He doesn't know where oh, to this go. Is this is going to get good. Gaming and gaming holding up the top. Can Paint send it in here into the bus stop chicane? No, gaming cuts off the air. Now gaming. I mean, Paint looks the low on the gaming. Fireball comes back on the outside. One racing. Look at these, these guys are lap cars. I think you said it, man. Draft is, 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 is a definite factor right here. Oh, look at this. Fireball is going to have to make oh. a choice now. Oh, that's bad. That's a bad. That's a caution. We need yeah, a caution. Yellow is out. Oh, 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 no, no, no. That's bad. Oh, oh, no, the leaders! The 82, Rexon saves it. Can he save it again? The 21 in the wall. Cars are pitting under green. They don't know the caution's out. Have we caught the caution? Yeah, the caution is now out, but they're, they're pitting now. This is bad for them. This changes everything. You know who was... Well, who was legally... Leading? Crown Jr. Crown Jr. has damage, though. Reem and Art are going to be in great spots. Remember, he has some damage. Bad nasty ball. crash, this nasty entire, crash. This, that was the worst wreck. I, I, I don't want to say it, but that was bad. That was supremely bad. That's going to be that's gonna be bad. Uh, we got to look at this one from, oh that might be a red, that's a red flag situation if I've ever oh seen. My oh gosh. my goodness. So Who turned him? Zion. We've seen Zion. He messed up on another restart. I'll definitely have to 
I'm probably going to EOL him on this. On this. Uh... Now remember, the leaders do not know that the caution's out. By rule, they can they can come to the pitch because the caution came out pretty much when they were entering pit road. So let's go slow mo. Right. TV two. I don't know what this gives, but no, it won't be black flag. Zion just gets into Roach and watch this ride Roach takes. Oh, bang! Reem gets by, Ard gets by, and I think right here, oh, Ard just got by. NH, nowhere to go. Ooh. And Shangle, I think Bird. Bird in it, yep. Ooh. Man, that is bad, Rick. Zevil's a little bit of damage, but I think he's all right. Roach goes, oh my goodness, that goes uh, gymnastic style. Oh, that is. Still gymnastic style. Still gymnastic style on a half turn. That is nasty. Ooh, we also have we also have to look at the crown incident too. That three wide nonsense when they were pitting. Yeah, that's we'll get to take a look at that too. Yeah, let's see what happened here. So, okay, so he was actually so yeah, you're right. He has damage with the eighty two. Oh, he's gonna have some. I think he's got a major damage. Watch this hit. I'm not mistaken. That's a hit. So the eighty two. Oh yeah, that's a hit. About, lap traffic's bound to be an issue, and these guys are bracing. Hard as heck. Insane. I've never seen this kind of race. This is insane. I, I, they were trying to stay on the lead lap best they could. Fireball got ahead. Now he's going to pit road thinking, I mean, crazy enough going to pit road right in front of two lap cars as they're wrecking, let alone not knowing there's a huge wreck right behind him. I guess it's just AI don't have spotters, but yeah, 20 got an 82 teammates. That's pretty much it. Yeah, 21. Yeah, it's a, that's a hard oh, hit, you can see. They're wisely going down pit road, so. Smart move. That's going to put Fireball in the lead, I think. However, I don't think we're going to do free pass because the, the two lap cars that were up front got wrecked, so probably won't do that. So this raises the question, who's up front now? It's going to be Fireball, and I think it's going to be Nelson. Those two seem to be the well, best. Not everyone pitted. More strategy. Where is Fireball? So, Green has taken the fireball teammate to fireball right there. Isaac's in fourth. We, uh, he is not pitted, right? Uh, he might have. He's, he, they might have snuck around me and pitted on this on this sequence here. We know Quadruped hasn't pitted. That's for sure. I oh, mean, I wish I could kind of go and see when these guys have pitted. Anyways, you can, actually can go see, buddy. How do I do that? Hit the chat. See, where to, see what happens. Where's the 77 and the 9? That's the key. I don't know if they pitted yet. I don't know if they pitted. I know they pitted at the caution. They pitted at the caution. Right, but you can just see who else pitted with them. That's what we're trying to sort of just timing and score it then. Looks like everything is good. Oh, man. You know what? Sean Art actually might be the newest member of that group. He might be leading that second group. That re We got a car blowing out to Weeb. Ah, uh, yeah. He was involved in that wreck, too. We're going to have to. I don't know if it'll let me pace plus, but. Let's nah, see. I think. I think I think he'll get off the track for sure. Uh, unfortunately for him, he was right at the cut line too. Didn't have enough car. Well, is with, with great racing comes great risk. These guys have definitely taken it. Jonah Burge is definitely an outlier here. He has never really shown any success. At, you know, I'm just gonna finish that sentence there. He's never really shown. I mean, he's been very consistent at the start of the season. It's usually how he rolls. Starts off consistent. And as the season goes on, he doesn't quite keep his grip. As the 48 is going to probably come to pit road this time. As the 21 is catching the field. But um, 121 and 28 are going to be two interesting ones to watch. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go helicopter for this restart to ensure. We well, just got to be careful right here. To ensure that. Uh, just in case we have a restart violation. Yeah, we got we're Fireball almost. Oh, is Weeb uh, interfering? There we go. He'll, he'll make it to safe. Let's go back to the restart. I'm going to take oh, this restart. Is oh, Reem's got... Reem is pinning. Let's get it. Uh, hopefully they get together. So... No, that's, that's costly by Reem. He's going to lose all that trap position. He just ran out of gas. That's a bad, bad spot. So his team... We're showing our burrage. Take advantage of that. Um, restart's clean. Restart's clean. Uh, uh, boy, that's going to be tough, though. I, does Burridge have the feel to make it back around? Oh, 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 we got a wreck. That's a wreck. That's a caution. 89 around. 
The 91 got too antsy. Oh, we're not done yet, buddy. Right, go back oh, look at it real quick. Oh my goodness, is that... Did Ard miss that again? I think so. He's missed everything today, it's unbelievable. The only thing is, did they, let's keep it up, let's keep it this shot, did they keep it clear on the S's? I think they did. So, where's the restart? They can keep it clean, but clean enough. Oh, what, 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 where's Burge at? Burge did not have a good start. Oh, Burge got a pit, man. He's got a pit. His tires are shot, too. Oh, then the wall goes, uh, the Squid Master. Man, what a race. We just got halfway. We still have 15 to go. This has been insane. It's probably the craziest race. To and we got a battle for the second now. It's Nelson and... No, not the second. Isaac. Yeah, Isaac. Excuse me. Fireball is going to be caught, though. He's going to be caught. It's going to raise the question of how good that draft is. Oh, it's good. You can see it. They're already making time. Watcher Peg goes wide. Watcher Peg goes wide. Pace! Oh, <laughs> the wall. No way did she save that. No, she didn't. She got the wall. She's done. That's game. That's game for Pace. The triple crown threat is over. Oh my goodness. It went in a most disappointing manner too. But they led laps today. That is interesting to add. Got plenty of laps led. Pace oh. just gets into the wall, and that's not going to be a caution. Way off the course. Yeah. Into the ice. Ah. Unfortunate. That raised the call. Oh my goodness. Where's the 59? Oh, the 59's out of the race. Where's the 18? Birdman, I think, was out. He's out, yeah. So wow, that's that's, that's, that's gonna, gonna be a big three. win for paint. That's gonna be a big one for anyone who's outside of the Oh my goodness, look at this. Yeah, we the draft is ready. Isaac is just rolling. The draft is here. I think anybody from first to sixth, make that seventh artist there can win this race. That's if 71 has been quick. Look at this, the one car is up here. One car just wrecked the points leader pretty much. Man, Sean Art is trying to send it once again. It, what is this man on today? <laughs> That's uh, Sean Art for you. Send on <laughs> He's sending today. He's full sending his Arlo. Isaac is in the back bumper. Fireball looking for the lead though. Or what a great exit. Oh, can he keep it clear? He's going to start sending. Fireball plays a little block. Now will Isaac use a little bit of throttle at mash here and back up the entry and force Fireball wide on exit? Yes, he does. Fireball into the wall. It's going to give Isaac a massive run. Damn, crazy strategy. Here, here comes Quadruped going to send it for third on Nelson. More cars down pit road. Damn, strategy is playing in. Or is that damage? I don't know. Damn strategy. Let's see. <laughs> My goodness, what a race. We can't keep an eye off it. Quadruped, fireball nearly collects. Quadruped to the grass. Nelson keeps it there. Oh, what a crossover though. Here comes uh, Nelson on fireball. Ooh, keeps it clean. Quadruped now, gotta be careful. He, he was in the same spot as Pates was. Keeps it clean. Oh, Isaac runs wide through the carousel. Fireballs have a great exit here. Massive exit. Oh, Here comes says that uh, Nelson again looking for second with the crossover. Nine waited a little too long to let the O3 come in. Here comes uh Here comes Isaac. Does he hit the wall? No. Oh great run for Fireball coming. Fireball with a big run coming. Decides not to use it. They're gonna keep it clean for once. It's top seven. Throw a blanket between Isaac to Ard, nine tenths. Isaac into the rumble strip. Ard a little wide. Quadruped tries low again, but thinks better of it. Fireball into the grass. Huge block on uh, Quadruped. It's gonna bring Ard back into the mix with NH. Here comes NH, three wide. Oh, they keep it clean. Here comes the Quadruped, still sending. Forty-four. He's looking for a good point stay, and he, he ain't waiting. Hold him. Oh my goodness, what what racing here at the Glen? We need to have this race second on the schedule. The second race here, the way it's going. Here comes Quadruped, sneaks up on the nine. Nelson's going to try to go to the backstretch here and take the lead in the six. No, he keeps it cool. 
Still side by side for third. This is insane. We, I, this is for a road course. This is insane. This next gen car is putting a show with the wing. Oh, Nelson, it's gonna have a big run now. Here comes a massive run after uh, Isaac goes wide to the wall almost. Now they're gonna send it into one. Who has the biggest brakes? I mean balls. Here we go, Brad Nelson looking for the lead. Oh, he's gonna force him into the rumble strip. Yep, Nelson gonna take the squeeze play. He does. Now Squid is caught. Oh my God, Chef Squid's there. Chef Squid, uh, he's very. That draft is massive. He's there. He's there. And Zion not quite there either. We talked about Zion. He's got involved in, uh, I think, two of the rifts today. Just one more battle up ahead, and I, I think, I think, Squid's there, yeah. There's the battle up ahead for the lead. That's going to be it. Squid's in it now for sure. O3 takes it. A little bit tighter. Ball. Yeah, Bobby Isaac ran a little, a little bit wide. Quadruped now is going to have to be the key. Now the field strategy will start to come into play as we start to calm out. Let's look at the leaderboard real quick and see if there's any accidents other than the paint incident. Actually, paint's torn. Yeah, and Jonah Burge. Oh, we got Bow for fifth back there. 17. I mean, keep trying to look back and see who's doing what and then keep, they keep battling and passing. Oh, no, I think Chef Squid, I think, I think made a mistake. He cost himself R2. I think now it's... I think R can still catch it. I think Squid's going to need a little bit of help now. He's got some. Oh, they're still bound. Quadrupeds in the grass. <laughs> These guys Can't keep our eyes off it, man. <laughs> this is a crown jewel event for a reason. This is the Zach 1 on 3 TV 400 guys at the Glen, but today they're racing like this is the last race of their life. Burge now, you see. Yeah, he's looking for an aggressive. Oh, he's, he's loose, too. I don't think they made the right adjustments. He's 45 seconds back with no draft. Twenty ones in the pits though. He might be on the brakes. No, these guys are pretty far. Back. They might have already pitted. That or they're off pace. Twenty one does have a little bit of advantage. I think they pitted. Yeah, I think I think Burge was the last on the lead lap. Oh, they're still battling. <laughs> I mean that this has been intense racing here. What can Fireball go on Quadruped now here? He goes to full send. Quadruped to the Rumbles. Yep, NH to the Rumbles. Art's caught back up. Squid's starting to catch up with Zion. Now as they go into the S's right here, Fireball's going to clear Quadruped. The question is who will go into the grass? Fireball does an aggressive block on Quadruped to go back. Quadruped stays in line. But Isaac's starting to gain a little momentum. Fireball's going to help with the push draft. Can they clear into? They keep it clear here into the S's now into the backstretch to Kane. To the bus stop. Here we go. Looks like, uh, oh, Nelson a little bit wide. A little bit more than wide. I just have a better run. Watch this run through the carousel. Yeah, 44 ran a wide, but Isaac's going to get a massive run here. If he keeps it cool, he might be able to force in the wake Nelson's mistake. Let's see. Can he force it into the wake? Nelson's mistake on exit is six and seven. Yep, Nelson made the mistake a little bit. It's going to give Isaac a run. Won't be enough to send him to one, but he's getting inching closer. They're still battling, but there's Quadruped, Fireball, throwing flame and Haymakers. Oh, man, they're just bunching up here, Constantining up the top six. Art left, I think Art pitted. Think he did, yeah. Interesting strategy call. Then draft is so important. I don't think pitting by yourself is too wise, but yeah, he's on pit road now. Getting four fresh tires. I think he's, look I think he's looking for a caution at this rate. That's, that would be a massive call if he gets the caution. But Brandon Nelson now. Still leading. When will they have to pit again? That's the question. I think he will. Man, this is the key. The only good thing about pitting by yourself, there is one. It's not, it's not much. Uh, is you do get that clean entry on, on entry, but you just don't get it on exit. That's the problem. Twenty-eight about to go lap down. He's ninth or nineteenth. Yep, looks pretty good for everyone to stay out. An extra lap is Nelson rim rides it. Here comes Isaac again. He's gonna get a quadruped. Nice draft here with the drag on these top two. Does he force him wide into the break zone, into one? 90 degrees downhill, yes. Quadruped now, does he get a big run coming off? The S's. Isaac tries to fight back. 
No, now starts to fight with the side drive. Quadruped! Oh, he's in the grass! He got in the side of the 3 and he didn't run a line. He lose a spot. Oh, there. it's going to lose time. Fireball is going to take it for third. He's back on the podium. Full send. Full send, baby. It should be the full send 400, the way it's going right now. This looks like someone uh, laid some green stuff on the track. I don't know. But anyway, here comes Bobby Isaac now. I mean, he's got the lead. What do you do? You start playing the arrow game with your spotter, and they're going to start pitting. I think the nine's coming this time, at least. Nine or three. No, just the one and the three are coming. 71 stays out. And remember, if you stay out and you know you got a pit, do you start taking two tires? Do we see a two tire call? Do we see a two tire call? Where's Art? Now we gotta find Art because he might be the the uh, leader here with that early strategy. Where is Art? He's in the carousel. Yeah, draft so important. I mean, he's not. I mean, 15th, not bad. Not let's see. Let's see. Let's see though. If if it is a four tire call, let's just see. So 71 stays out. Where's let's, let's see those two guys that pit though. Where's Quadruped? We got. We kind of kind of need to see this delta here for the fans. Make sure they understand. Okay, so that Art's probably just getting it into the front stretch right now. It's gonna be a good call, I think, for Quadruped and Nelson. Where's Art? Yep, he's now. He's probably gonna be about two seconds back of them. I think. Or close enough to where. Let's see where are they at. Ah, uh, they should be entering the S's now. Middle of the S's. Uh, Quadruped is actually behind Nelson, so they should be clearing with cold tires. Now the question is, less fuel. If I'm Nelson, if I'm, I'm Isaac, if I'm Fireball, I come in now. Okay. If you wait, you save, try to save. Oh, yeah, they're in right now. Oh, that's it. You come in now. No need for the... F oh, who's... Who, they were staying out? Okay. It's 97, 91 staying out. Now, Zion, Zion Squid were... I, I'm pretty sure at damage, they might be able to stretch this. And they could go for a fuel-only call and win this race. It'd be risky, but it could be possible. Funny enough, Chef Squid, uh, he led the quite a few laps for last year. Let's go to the chat, Zach, real quick. Not to, not to cut you off. Go to the chat. Let's see where those guys are at in relation to the track. Let's see where uh, Isaac's at in relation to the track from the leaders who pit the first time. I know we got a ton of action here, but we got to see. I don't think he's going to lose as much time because he was the leader coming in. Have a lot oh, here comes Quadruped. Whoa, great call by the 3 And Nelson. Oh, they're going to have warmer tires. This is going to be a crazy race up the hill. No, Ard's done, I think. It's going to come down to these six, I think. Three has a heck of a run. It's going to help Quadruped. Quadruped's in it because the 03 will start messing, I think. Ooh. Oh, it's on the brakes. They touched. No, great move there by Isaac. Watch Nelson. He's going to go through the grass. Quadruped's going to get a run. But Ooh. Isaac's still not fully up the temperature with the tires. He can't get the front to turn. Quadruped on the other hand, he can. Watch him make a move for second. Now, where's the 97 91? Are they going to pit for fuel only? They're staying. They're gonna. They're gonna roll the dice. I'm telling you. They're gonna. And the seven two dice K. They're gonna roll the dice. The seven. That seven actually might be on a bit better strategy. We talked about him not really being as good this season. There's a touch of damage. We're talking about these dodges being very well in, qual in practice and qualify. It's something to watch. Watch dice K here. Zion and Squid. Can Mr. Calamari himself get the win, or will we see an upset like dice K or Zion? Let's find out. Will they pit? if he doesn't pit this time. Ooh, the way they're swerving, they might be pitting, though. 89, I believe, is a lap down. Yep, they are pitting, all three of them. All right, they're, they're, now the question remains, fuel only. Let, let's see that fuel only call. I think you take the fuel. You got enough with the gap. 45's pitting, 88's going to pit. I just, it's I, Jesse. I just don't think these guys were where they need to be in terms of draft. They may be, but I just don't see it happening. Fuel only! I called it! Let's go! The, now, now, now the question becomes, can they race out of pit? This is a great call. What's the delta? Oh, this is going to be a beautiful call. It's a master stroke. Oh, wait, that's a 97. 91. Chef Squid may have just made potentially the winning call. We'll, we'll see. Oh, he's got he's to go, though. He's got to go. There's the 03. 03 is There's in. the leaders. Oh, it's going to be close. They're going to get out in front. The problem is... They're on warm tires. They're on. I think only Squid's gonna make the right call. Dice K will get caught. Squid, he's got a head though. We'll 
see how that triggers out. We'll have two to go at the line. We got lap car with Rick Crown Jr. in front. I think Chef Squid just might have made a crazy call to get this win, buddy. I, it's not really crazy. I think it's a smart call because the, 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 the Delta was just too much for the leaders back there. Quadrupeds going for fourth. We'll have to watch it. Keep in mind, though, that you guys are going to probably catch up based on what you see in the race. You're just leading a lap at this point. It's going to be fun. I don't know if they're going to catch up. Dice K is going to start playing blocker. I think Squid needs to have these guys play blocker. And he can get it. He might be the perfect guy in the right strategy. Here comes Nelson. That's expected. Oh, 21. Crown's playing games with Zion. It's going to help Quadruped Nelson, though. 21 keeps playing games. It's going to help. I'll understand here. But they're not teammates with their Chevy. Oh, we, got a, we might got a, we got a wreck back there almost. That Someone hit the wall. I think we're clean, though. Check the leaderboard. Check the leaderboard. Almost a wreck back there. Now we're clean. It might have pitted too. Yeah, We're clean. We're clean and green. It's gonna be, it's gonna be close. I, I think I think I think it's over, but I think Squid just pulled the move. They're just battling too much bad. They can't get around Dice K. We've talked about it. There is only three drivers in this I think three, yeah, three drivers in this series who have ran since two thousand and twenty one who have yet to win a race. That is Chef Squid, Jim and uh, the 89 of Brad Stover. Could today be the day for Chef Squid? He ran here very well last year. He may have pulled the perfect strategy call to get his first career win. Maybe. We'll see. As his laps went down. What a great move. Now Nelson is around the 21. That's going to be crowned. I think he can get the second, but I think Chef Squid coming off the last corner. The white flag is in the air. Can Chef Squid get a crown jewel event? That'd be big. Chef Squid is yet to win in this series. He's... We're talking about Brad Motorsports. Not really the most consistent team in terms of everything. Look he he did here. he did make a mistake there in the one. He's starting to lose. Remember, he's on the oldest tires along with Zion. Zion's got to play blocker. Is he doing that? He is. That's going to... Not to cut you off. He is starting to do that. I think Chef Squid here coming up through the gears here into the bus stop chicane momentarily. Quadruped's back there just getting around crown. Does he get a clean exit? Yep, they're going to send it on the brakes, but they can't send it enough. Chef Squid into the carousel for the final time, looking for that first win. It's been a long time coming. Sounds like we're coming home here, but here we go. Chef Squid down the backstretch for the last time. He's going to send it into the brakes through the left hander in the six. Keeps it clean, keeps it nice and tidy. Into turn seven. It's been a long time coming to his next set for three years. But Chef Squid is going to fry up the calamari here at Watkins Glen and win race number 13 at the Zach Will 3 TV 400. Yeah, a nice what a call, buddy. Very what a call. Man, Chef Squid. That's big. Um, we've talked, to, I, like I was just saying, Burma Sports. Yeah, I mean, we've really been strong since the championship season in 2021. And we've seen last year not a lot of wins. There's team over Abigail Lane going by, not finishing so well. Abigail Lane currently in position to finish last in the standings right now. Ernest first the third, we three wins. Joyko not doing so well. And Chef Squid will take it away. Chef Squid, what a job. You know, from, from damage to win. I mean, that's, that's a little spin and win, except you have a little damage. That might have actually saved him. Because you think about it, when you're so far back, you've got nothing to lose in points. You really don't have a care in the world, as there is no such thing as points in a crown jewel event. You just go for it. You send it. Crew Chief did a great job. Saw the pit delta and fuel only, man. I, I, that's the way it go when there's only two laps left. You just got to hold them off. Now, the one thing I will say, though, I think Crown Jr. played a massive role. Because if Crown Jr. is not there, he probably there probably isn't a big buffer. And I think it's just Zion being the only blocker and he would have been caught. So Crown Jr. might have got the assist right there. But great job by Chef Squid. Points are not going to really be shaking up much. Great runs also for uh, Quadruped, man. We haven't seen him. Mortar. Uh, Bobby Isaac, tough break. I thought he had the best car out there. Paints. Six places. And, uh, not, bad for... not bad. Paints and Fireball, I think, definitely had the best cars. They just, no no luck for sure. Hard was able to recover to ninth. And H was just able to stay clean most of the race. Tenth place. Well, that's going to conclude coverage here at Watkins Glen. Zach, what a race. Any last thoughts, man, before we sign off? Well, uh, I know you said not a huge implication points lead, but the three points leaders did not finish that is going to allow some of the field to catch up especially those guys that led laps 
it's gonna be a lot that plays into this i mean there i don't want to say a huge point shake up and i don't even want to say point shake up but it's going to be it could lead to a point a potential point shake up in coming races so it's been a crown jewel uh, i think it was definitely a lot of pit strategy chef squid played it well last year didn't quite get the w as exo was able to be on top exo not so on top this year being his sophomore year in the in the series uh but looks like uh he's uh chef squid was able, finally able to seal the deal great job for chef squid and man one last thing to add this next two races are going to get pretty wild. We got Daytona, back to Daytona for the Super Speedway, which everyone has some data on, and then Coca Cola Super Speedway, which is random. For Zach 103 TV and the man himself for sponsoring this race, congratulations to Seth Squid and the 91 Ford. And uh, we're going to see you guys next week for Daytona, back to the, back to the uh, Sunshine State, where we all started and kicked off this 2023 season back in January. We're back. It's Daytona the second time around. For Vince Freeze, we out. See you tonight.